Dynamic Trader includes all of the traditional chart tools plus a few unique ones. And I think that Dynamic Trader includes more information on the chart display than most other trading programs. So let's take a look at some of the traditional charting tools as well as a few of those that are unique to the Dynamic Trader program. Our line tools are all grouped together under this icon in DT and they have the traditional trend lines, parallel lines. I'm sure you're aware of what those are so I don't need to show you those. Uh, we have Andrews, uh, it's commonly called Pitchfork, uh, it's not what Andrews called it but um, Andrews warning and medium lines. Um, I just wanted to show you those because we have something unique about those. Uh, I'll put the upper and one lower one on. And you'll see these divisions in here, which, which is not in other softwares for Andrews lines. And I'll show you why we have these divisions. I'm using the traditional uh, uh, FIB numbers of 38.2% and 61.8%. If I do an Andrews line, or uh, pitchfork, we'll call it, let me just bring this down. You know, those of you familiar with Andrews will know how we we make those Andrews lines from a low and then a high and another low, and the medium line goes right through the medium of uh, the line that connects the high and the low. But these dotted lines are what we call uh, the fib channel around the Andrews line. It's something uh, that I came up with many, many years ago because I've used Andrews lines as well as Babson lines for many years um, in chart geometry. And I find that this, what we call the, the fib channel, medium fib channel, uh, usually contains uh, corrections and trend targets, uh, depending on whether the market's in a correction or in a trend. So as soon as it reaches the fib channel and the medium line, it's when we start uh, becoming alert to probable support or resistance uh, when a market uh, doesn't reach the actual medium line itself. And of course, these are the extensions on either side of the main channel line that are also used by people that use Andrews lines. Um, besides Andrews lines, we do have, let me just erase that group, we have what's called Babson lines. And again, you have you can choose the color of those lines. You can choose how they're divided up and how many action and reaction lines uh, you want. Um, Babson lines, uh, you either know about them or you don't know about them, but they're basically parallel channels that are extended above and below um, the three-point parallel channel. And then with typically you divide it in the 50% or halfway through the channel and you look for support and resistance. There's, again, that's, that's a whole course on how to use Andrews lines and how to use Babson channels, etc. But we have them and we have them in unique ways in Dynamic Trader that's not found in uh, necessarily all other our other trading and charting programs. So we also have a lot of GAN related uh, charting tools, uh, just your traditional GAN angles. Uh, uh, some of you may know that I wrote a home study trading course on WD GAN trading techniques. Um, she's almost 25 years ago. It was in the late 80s. It was actually the first uh, trading course that I wrote, a very comprehensive course on GAN, Fibonacci, and Elliott Wave combination. But uh, for those of you who are interested in GAN angles on your chart, I think we do it correctly as opposed to many other charting programs. You have the choice to uh, draw the one by one line by choosing a low to high or having it the one by one angle as ticks per bar. You can extend the angles and then you can show uh, whatever angles you want on the chart. Uh, so for instance, this is drawing, which is really the proper way to do it. Um, and for those of you who know GAN angles is that once you've declined below the two by one bar, it can become resistance just like a trend line may. Um, it also <clears throat> at least gives a warning that the trend has changed. In this case, if a market doesn't hold the two by one line or the one by two line is uh, more than likely it's, it's changing trend, at least in the process of that. So we can do GAN angles. Uh, we can do GAN angles properly in Dynamic Trader. We have lots of other GAN tools, as you'll see in a minute. Uh, we, of course, have regression lines. Uh, most charting programs have that. Uh, price time square, this is another uh, GAN charting technique. 
really a chart geometry technique. Let's take a look and see uh, what that's like. Um, <clears throat> you either know about these or you don't know about them, but if you want to do uh, GAN charting techniques, um, we have it done correctly in Dynamic Trader, um, where you can choose any groups or number of angles, um, squaring of price and time that you want, either horizontal or vertically. Choose which ones to display. You can um, have various other choices here, uh, drawing the box and reflecting the box, which is basically um, is reflecting it upwards or downwards or forward, repeating it as going forward. Um, User-defined um, price and time ticks, uh, etc. Um, or you can you can uh, you can choose to do it just from the high and the low, like I did here, to square out a high and a low. So if you're familiar with GAN charting techniques, uh, we have both the GAN angles and the GAN uh, chart geometry price by time in Dynamic Trader, and we've done it correctly according to um, how GAN described it to be done and how it's accepted to be done. I'm just going to move down our left toolbar here, which has uh, most of our charting tools. Um, date labels is uh, something, again, I think it's pretty unique in DT, uh, particularly how we're able to display uh, high, the dates of highs and lows. So let me just do a few of these real quickly. Um, we can mark off highs and lows. We can choose what information to show. Um, so of course, this is a 240 minute chart of uh, the E-mini. It shows uh, the actual date, the time of that bar, when that bar ended at least, the price of the bar, the price change from the last pivot. So uh, it calculates that automatically from the last pivot pivot that's 45 and a half points up from the last low it's 2.59 percent up from the last low and it's 19 bars so we can very quickly and easily um, um, uh, mark off pivots with critical information and we choose what information to show we can also show rate of change and we can automatically show the retracements and the APP ratios we can do it by closing prices if we want um, let me close this. I'm just going to eliminate these and show you something else that we want to do these very quickly. Is um, we can do it last uh, our label swing pivot highs, pivot lows automatically, and uh, there it did it automatic according to the what swing file is being shown at the time. Um, and we'll talk about swing, swing, swing files later, but uh, very quickly it uh, marks off all the swing pivot highs and lows. Um, let's go ahead and erase those, take the swings off for now. Um, this is our pivot labels. Uh, you've seen in the end of wave and the wave band routines that it will automatically label according to a set of rules for the typical uh, major Elliott wave structures. And this is just so you can quickly uh, put labels on the chart if you like. Um, and you can choose, uh, you know, the type of font, the size of the labels, whether they're numbers, whether they're letters. Um, I use a lot of one or A, two or B, three or Cs. And then you can come down here and you can add your own labels on as well. Um, I've already added some of my own labels here, but wherever you see a question mark, you can you can put your own text in there. Maybe I would think this is a one of a three, something along that line. Uh, we can choose the size of the font, whether it's bold or not, and the color of the font, uh, uh, whatever we want. So if we wanted to label this, you know, one of three instead of three, we can do that. And of course, I always have a question mark because we never know what the exact um, uh, label is going to be until a little bit after the fact. So I like to use a lot of question marks on my chart. And of course, buy, sell. Again, we can label whatever we want to label on that chart. We have uh, our high-low labeling, uh, swing highs or lows, or actually any bar high or low. For instance, uh, and let me uh, choose the uh, low. I'm going to uh, mark off that little pivot low on the chart. And again, we have good 
good labeling in dynamic traders, which is not as clearly shown as in many other programs. So we know this line is a low. We know the exact price and the exact time or date of whatever bar it is that we're, uh, we're labeling. Again, we can do it as a high. And then if we want, we can make these highs and lows. We can make them price alerts so that um, we know when a swing high or lower is taken out above or below, uh, we get alerted to that. We can have it send it to us in an email if we want or a text message either way. Uh, I'm going to cancel this alert. So again, charting, having good, clear information on the chart is important. Um, and I think that's because I started out uh, hand charting all the markets back uh, in the mid 80s when I first started to chart the markets and do technical analysis and trade. Didn't have any software program. It was all charting by hand. And so we had to label everything clearly so we knew what these lines and pivots uh, were related to. If we want to do just put some text and some notes, we can do that. Um, you know, go long above swing high, something like that. And we can choose uh, the color, the font, all that sort of thing. And we can just put a note, a note to ourselves right on the chart <clears throat> if we choose to do that. Let me go ahead and erase excuse me, everything that's on this chart. Um, we may have, let's just say a little uh, time price box we figured out, you know, within this price range and this time range, if a market reached into there, uh, we can make that a price alert if we want to. And, uh, and that way we can be alerted if a market gets into a, a time and price zone that for whatever reason is important to us. So it might be um, an Elliott wave, end of wave structure target. And it could be by some other method we've determined we want to be alert to the market if it gets in within that price range or that time range. So those are some of the other charting tools that we have in Dynamic Trader. Some of them are uh, in most other trading programs uh, and most traders are going to be familiar with. A few of them are unique to Dynamic Trader and uh, some of them may be in other programs but we may have them a little bit better in that little better labeling so that you know exactly what information is on your chart and how they're relevant, as well as being able to turn almost any trend line, Andrews line, Babson line, swing high and low, uh, GAN angle, etc., into a price alert or a uh, some some sort of alert if the market touches it uh, that we can be alert to, it, and those alerts will pop up uh, in Dynamic Trader, as well as can send us an email or a text message when that alert goes off. DT's chart tools are quick to access and they're easy to use. And DT's chart tools are also clearly displayed and easy to read. So check out our other DT7 video tours to learn more about the unique features in Dynamic Trader version 7.